Howdy partners, it's your buddy John here. Welcome back. Um, we walked into something here. <laughs> I literally just started the episode from where we last left off and this automatically happens. Uh, this will not stand, do you hear me? What, are we talking? what is it now? Something's got Dominic caught and bothered. I guess I should see what it is. I poke my head around the corner to see Dominic killing Isabella and Rakesh. What is this? You all, you've all known about the inspection tomorrow for two weeks now. Am I just talking to myself at our meetings? Yeah, you kind of usually are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree that you may be speaking more to yourself than us. Um, will you two shut up and clean this travesty? What? I had things to do tonight. We worked so hard to arrange the room properly. Isabella, your plans are canceled. Effectively, immediately, Rakesh, you'll be damn lucky if you convince them that all the paint around here is for an art class. Um... This is beso all beside the point. Mal is shut. Commence cleaning. Okay. Watching Dominic throw a hissy fit is probably the best comedy gold I've had all week. I'm tempted to rub it in, though I think if I show my face, he'll probably try to put it to work. Might not be worth interfering. Uh, go ahead and help. Whatever. Even if I have to help out, it's worth it just to stick it to... Bad motives. Oh man, I didn't even know that no toilet paper could explode. Hmm. But maybe it's because of all the shaving cream. Oh well, I'm sure the bathroom will be fine. That smell can't last forever. <laughs> I don't think I've seen someone run off that fast since the last free taco day at the student cafeteria. Uh, Isabella raises an eyebrow at me and I can't help but crack up. A lot of us start laughing. Okay. Looking more closely at what Dominic had been yelling about, it looks like a giant shrine has been built in the study nook. All the study books are strewn around, some with candles on Well, that's not safe. Set above everything else on a stack of books is a blown up picture of Dominic with the dorm rules stapled to it. Clever. Okay. <laughs> it's really a very elaborate shrine. Test papers are strewn about along with colorful streamers and banners that say, keep your grades up incredibly messy but must have taken them a while to do it's about the most hilarious monument I've seen um, he doesn't like this yeah yeah, yeah. I know right <laughs> Isabella said he would appreciate it Isabella and I high-five as Rakesh simply shakes his head and goes over to start cleaning up the pile reluctantly we go over to help him um, with three of us there it's not really the most daunting task once all the candles are out we get everything stripped down fascinating finally it's just the five garbage bags of things to go out and the giant stack of all the books it's probably going to take another hour just to get all the books put away in the proper place oh sorry partners <laughs> thought i heard something outside uh, okay um probably going to take another hour just to get all the books put away in the proper place I'm sure as hell not going to be the sucker doing that. Uh, Alright, one of you come with me to throw all this crap in the dumpster. The other one can stay and sort all the books properly. Um, <laughs> oh sure, stick one of us with all the books. Oh, excuse me, I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> Seems fair to me, I'm just volunteering, remember? Uh... Mm -hmm. I think we got some points with Rakesh, so I don't think I have any with Isabel. Let's try to push that up some. I think that's right. Plus five Isabel. There we go. Uh, hopefully this doesn't cost any points with Rakesh. Let's get the stuff out of the dumpster. Out? What? Get the stuff out of the dumpster? What? <laughs> I know you think of a dirty girl, hot stuff, but not like this. No. Oh, eh. Exactly like this. Come on. <laughs> I suppose I will try to sort the books then. Yeah, you do that. Just put them in alphabetical order, okay? You don't have to do anything fancy. That sounds simply boring. I don't care. As long as they're on the shelves, I... Yeah, I don't care. Isabel and I grab up the trash bags and make our way outside. The dumpster's only around the back of the house, so it's not like it takes us long to get out there. So I assume this was all an elaborate ruse to get me out here alone, right? Uh-huh. 
You've seen right through my master plan. I know you secretly get super hot around dumpsters. <laughs> well, she seems like that kind of person. Uh-huh. Shut up. I'm right, though, aren't I? Uh, so what if you are? I never said it was, but whatever. <laughs> it's just cute, that's all. Uh-huh. Well, then score one for me. You're totally leaving her cash with those books, though, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Perfect. It is a shame we had to destroy your monument. That was a damn funny gag. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Probably should have timed it better. Probably could have gotten him to leave it up for a week. Not worth getting kicked o out over, though. We laugh about it for a while, wasting time out in the crisp night air. It's a bit cold out, but honestly, standing there with Isabella, I barely even notice. Ah, uh, okay. Can't believe I had never learned that before. Uh-huh. I think this is the one I need to get uh, rational up. I, I'm pretty sure of it. That's something I need to get worked on. Um. <clears throat> oh, it says right there. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I'm slow. Uh, that was actually a really fun class. I'm glad I went today. Oh, new event. Do you know which bus goes to the downtown bookstore, Dominic? They've got a really great sale going on, and I don't want to be lugging all the books back on foot. Uh, what's this? Little Anne is off on an adventure. I pull my head out of the refrigerator and look over to see Anne with three empty bags over one shoulder. Apparently she's pretty serious about book shopping. I do have transportation. I guess I could take her. Yeah, why not? Be don't be a total jerk, you know? Or I could just leave it to Dominic. He's probably just as interested in the books as she is. Uh, play the event. What's up? Oh, Max, I didn't see you there. Punk. <laughs> I thought we were friends, dude. Wait, I'm curious. Are we? I don't know, we only have plus, plus five. Oh, no! Okay. I thought I had points with her cash. Apparently, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, D-bag. Yeah. Anyway, I like I said, there's a really good sale, and I just wanted to know the best way to get down there. You know, you could, you don't have to take the bus. I do have a car. I'd be happy to take you down. Heck, I might pick myself up some things as well. Yeah, I've got a van myself. No need to hang out with the hobos on the bus. Oh, no, you don't have to inconvenience yourselves for me. I'm okay being with, with being on the bus. It's really not that bad at all. Please, Anne, you're our friend. Let me give you a ride. It'll make everything easier on you. I like how she's our friend, but she would ride with him. But she should ride... What? Oh, she should ride with him. <laughs> uh, I'm having trouble reading today. <laughs> Anne and I have been getting along pretty well lately. It'd be nice to hang out. Yeah, it would. Anyway, Dom's clearly got it bad for her. Not that I can blame him. I just don't know if I can stand for it. Um, then again, it might not be the worst idea to have the RA owing you a favor. Mm. You, know, you, know, you know what? <laughs> Part of me wants to click this and not be a total jerk. Um... I mean, I'd like to go book shopping, but I don't think Max would. This guy probably does. Uh, whatever. There you go. I, I really need to push up points with her, though. That's something I need to work on. Uh, I think I might even know when to call in a favor, but that's a consideration for later. For now, listen to the man, and you don't want to have a bunch of fresh books on a public bus. Who knows what they'll... What'll get stolen? Um, let Dominic take you down. It'll be better all around. I really don't think she should wait. What? I mean, yes, ride with me, and it'll be better. <laughs> Dominic is looking at me like I just grew a second head, and it started speaking fluent German. That reaction alone might be worth it. It's kind of priceless. Well, yeah, okay, I guess. I appreciate it, Dominic. Definitely let me grab my keys, and we'll get going. We'll make up for this next time. Um... Trying to be everybody's buddy here. Alright. Sure thing. Thank you. No problem. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Shut up and thanks. Okay. Don't mention it, dude. Ah, look, we're making friends. 
I watch him go out the door, still pretty flabbergasted. Let it never be said that I am a total... <sighs> Such a gentleman. Okay. Uh-huh. Who's this? Guess that went pretty well. Crowd's all right tonight. I think I'll give it an hour to liven up, then head out. <clears throat> Nothing like sleeping in to make you feel like the whole day has hope. All right. Jersey check. Water dispenser check. Team spirit. Well, I should probably get to work. I don't think I've seen someone build a 12-foot-tall pyramid of water-filled Dixie cups before. They're going to love it. <laughs> oh, new event. Okay. Uh, I can't believe it's already Halloween. Oh, it is. Well, this seems like a good place, guys, to call the episode. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to click like and subscribe. Very much appreciated. It really helps me out. I will see y'all next time. Bye.